Hi, everyone. I've got some requests to do the questions and answers from the end of the lesson, the big friendly giant. So today's lesson consists of those. However, as a special treat, I also have 10 additional questions and answers of my own from the lesson. I urge you to read through the lesson well before you begin this video. You could also watch my previous video in which I explained the lesson. If you like, you will find an easy link to it right here above. Do keep a pencil and a notebook with you before you begin. You will benefit most of all from this lesson if you listen to each question carefully. Think of the answer in your mind and then write the answer on your own. After that, you can check your answer with mine and correct any answer that may be wrong. That is the best way to learn. Let's begin. The big friendly giant, here are the exercises. Let's begin with this. So you have question number two in the textbook, which states, fill in the blanks to complete the description of the BFG, the big friendly giant. A, very tall, three times as tall as an ordinary man. Tall enough to? Tall enough to do what? Check your answer. Reach windows that are one or two flights up. B. Very large hands, hands as large as, this one's easy, it's just one word. Wheelbarrows, C, home, lives in an, come on, this is easy too. Where does he live? Underground cavern, D, usually goes out only, what? See if you got it right when it is dark or at night. Always carries. Ah, he carries two things with him. Let's see if you can remember them both. A suitcase and a blowpipe. Okay? He carries a suitcase because he keeps all the bottles filled with powders in them. And he has a blowpipe because he needs that to blow the powders in through the open windows where the little children are asleep. Let's continue. Reference to context now. So this is the third question there. But he was a marvelous storyteller. He used to make up a bedtime story for me every night. And the best ones turned into serials and went on for many nights running. The first question. Describe the way in which Danny's father told stories. Okay, you write it down first and then when you're done, you can check it with my answer. Danny's father would be completely engrossed in his stories with a far intent look on his face, unconscious of everything around him. Of course, you can write your answer in your own words, but these are the points that need to be included in it. B, in your own words, describe what a serial is. What is a serial? And why do you think Danny liked the serials the best? Why do we all like serials? Why do we get hooked onto them? What's so interesting about a serial? Why is it different from a movie? Please pause the video here, write your answer, and then come back and check it with mine. A serial is a story that goes on for several days and nights. Danny probably liked the serials the best because it would be exciting for him to think about what was going to happen next. That's why I like serials. I'm sure that's why you like serials too. If it's a movie, it gets over at the end of the movie. But if it's a serial, it does not get over. They end the serial in such a way that you feel like you can't sleep until you get to see the next part of the serial because you're longing to know what happens next, isn't it? So Danny probably felt the same. C. 
Nail and describe the character from one of the best serial stories told by Danny's father. Ah, oh, there's only one interesting character in the story. So who was that? The answer, the character was the BFG, or you can say the big friendly giant. He was enormous. He was huge. He was very big and about three times as tall as an ordinary man. If you are six feet tall, then he was six threes are 18 feet tall, three times. His hands were as big as wheelbarrows. Okay, we're not talking about his arm, we're talking about only his hand, the part where you have the palm and the fingers. That was as big as a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow where you know people hold like a hand cart and they push it. The next one. The fourth one, ah, oh, yes, my darling, there is a whole world of sounds around us that we cannot hear because our ears are simply not sensitive enough. Let's go to the questions. List the sounds that the BFG could hear. Well, he could hear sounds that you and I cannot hear. Interesting sounds. What were they? Check your answer. The BFG could hear the tread of the ladybird's footsteps as she walked across a leaf, the whisperings of ants as they scurried around in the soil talking to one another, and the shrill cry of pain a tree gave out when a woodman cut into it with an axe. You cannot leave out any of these. These are the ones that are mentioned in the text. So if you are preparing for a test, you have to ensure that you learn them all. If this question carried you know, a certain number of marks, I would give marks for each point. So there would be one mark for stating about the ladybird's footsteps, one more mark for whisperings of ants, and another mark for the shrill cry of pain that a tree gave out. So that would be three marks. Now, if this is a three mark answer and you write only one point, you get one mark only. That too, presuming that you have written your answer correctly and there are no other mistakes in it, like, spelling errors or language errors. Next question. How did the BFG store the dreams that he caught? Where did he put them? Write your answer and then check. The BFG stored the dreams in glass bottles that were tightly shut. He made sure they were shut tightly or they would escape, right? C, what did the BFG do with bad dreams? He had good dreams and he had bad dreams. You know what he did with the good dreams, but what did he do with the bad dreams? Pause the video, write your answer, and then check your answer with mine. The BFG exploded the bad dreams. Please try and write answers on your own, in your own words. Just ensure that the points are the same. Okay? Well, I hope you got all those questions and answers. And now I have, like I said earlier, a few extra questions and answers. I have 10 questions and 10 answers to go through. And this will help you see whether you are prepared for this lesson, whether you know the story well or not. Are you ready? The first question, why did the narrator say that his father was a marvelous storyteller? And the answer, the narrator said that his father was a marvelous storyteller because he used to make up a bedtime story for him every night. And some of the stories went on for many nights. Let's move on. Here's the second question. Where did the BFG live? We just went through it a little while back. So kindly pause the video, write your answer, and then come back and check the answer with mine. The BFG lived in a vast underground cavern not far from the filling station, the petrol pump. The third one, how would Danny's father tell his stories? Again, I urge you to pause the video, write your answer, and then play the video and check your answer with mine. The answer, Danny's father usually sat close to him on the edge of his bunk and spoke very softly. 
Sometimes he would walk up and down, waving his arms and waggling his fingers. That's what made his stories even more interesting. Let's go on. The fourth one. According to Danny's father, what did dreams do at night? Let's see. According to Danny's father, dreams floated around in the night air like little clouds searching for sleeping people. The fifth one. Why could normal people not hear dreams as they floated through the night air? How did the BFG hear them? Please pause the video like I said. I'm reminding you each time, pause the video, write your answer and then come back and check it with mine. The answer, the sound that a dream made as it floated through the night air was very soft. Hence, normal people could not hear it. The BFG had a fantastic sense of hearing, so he could hear the softest sound. The sixth one, what does the BFG always carry with him? Ah, oh, we did this also a little while back. There are two things he carries with him. Now, if I was giving this question for a test or an exam, I would give two marks for it because there are two things. And if you forget one of them, you get only one mark. Check. The BFG always carries a suitcase and a blowpipe. A suitcase and a blowpipe. Let's move on, the seventh one. Oh, I'm sorry, I numbered this as eight. In what way does the BFG use the good dreams? So we heard that he explodes the bad dreams. So what exactly does he do with the good dreams then? In detail. Let's see if you know it all. The BFG collects the good dreams. So first of all, he collects them. He powders them and stores them in glass bottles. Make sure you mention that it's glass. Then he carries the bottles in his suitcase and goes around at night, only at night, searching for sleeping children. When he finds a sleeping child, he takes the right powder for the dream and uses his blowpipe to blow it through the open window. So you should have all these points, but you can write the answer in your own words. All right, let's move on. What happens after the BFG blows the powder in through the open window of a sleeping child? Let's see. The powder floats around the room and the sleeping child inhales it. Then the child begins to have a wonderful dream. As he dreams the dream, it suddenly becomes a reality and the child starts to really experience everything. Right? The tenth one. What made a lovely red glow in the dark room where Danny was sleeping? So we've come to the end of the lesson and this is right at the end. What was it that made that glow? The answer, the wood stove made a lovely red glow in the room where Danny was sleeping. So since I missed a question along the way, I have another question for you before we end. Here's the question. So this story, the BFG, was written by, who was it written by? You know, you have to learn the names of all the writers. And also tell me where the story is adapted from. Okay, so the answer is, the story was written by Roald Dahl and it is adapted from Danny, the champion of the world. And if this question comes in your test or exam, remember to write Danny, the champion of the world, the way it needs to be written. Danny has a capital D, the small t, champion, capital C, often the small o and t, and world has a capital W. Titles need to be written in the right manner. So if you are not sure how to do that, please revise that. 
or you could lose marks. I hope this lesson was useful to you and you are thorough with the lesson. Until we meet again, I'll say cheerio. Bye.